What is going on, my Ghost Squad? Welcome to Tactical Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, November 20th, 2018. We are live, as always, on YouTube and simulcasting, as always, over on gunchannels.com. I hope everybody's having a wonderful Tuesday, and if you're traveling for your holidays with Thanksgiving with family, I hope you guys are safe, and maybe we can help you with the drive along the way. Uh, let's see who's out there on the gun channel side. We've got uh, G Webs is out there, and Midnight Range, Dead Horse, Pete, Adolfo, and Gizzard. Gary, what is going on, my gun channels family? Let's check out and see who is over at the YouTube side. You got locals out there, Stealth Hunter, Gun Loving Grandpa Stanley, Caleb's out there. Let's see here. Guitar man, Pete. Scott's out there. What's up, Scott? I think I said Caleb's out there. Rich White, the 1%. JJ's out there. Joe Ziola. Jen Davis. Hello, Jen. Gizzard Gary's working both sides of the farm tonight. And who else there? Let's see. Lead Life. What's going on, Lead Life? The gun snob. What's up, snob? What a snob. I don't, you know, snob. Anyone that called himself a snob, it worries me. You've got uh, Lockjaws out there, MW Tacticals out there, Off the X, what's up, Lance? And Georgia Truckers out there, Sarge is out there, Travis T's out there, Tennessee Patriot, what up? Jim Burgess, Clover Tack, uh, who else is out there? Keith Gregory's out there. Guys, if, if you're out there and you haven't said anything, please say hello. We can't see you unless you say something. Armenthia's out there. How are you doing, young lady? Let's see here. But if you guys are out there, yeah, go ahead and say hello. We can't hear you. if uh, We can't see you if, if you don't say anything at all. So we are going to uh, say hello to the wonderful panel tonight. We're going to have a good time tonight. We're going to have some giveaways. We're going to do some uh, some unboxing, which I really don't know if I can do now because my software, my camera, and all that shit is not working. So uh, uh, well, we can do an unboxing. just won't be able to see it. I'm going to have to do a video for that. I might do a produce video later. Uh, but we're going to do some giveaways and uh, and all that. But let's run through the room real quick and say hello to everybody. We got from Michigan, got the Patriot in the dark. What's up, my man? Just happy to be here. Thanks. Appreciate oh, it. Man. Glad to have you. Glad to have you. And from Pennsylvania, the tactical chef himself, Mohawk Boy. What's up? Hey, what's going on, guys? Thanks for uh, Thanks for the link. Glad to be here. What's going on? Not a damn thing. Not a damn thing. From South Carolina, the man himself, Mike from MW Tactical. What's up, Mike? Uh, not too much, man. Just um had another long day, another productive day, but um just ready to get some gun talk going on. There you go. We're going to do it. From Arizona, we got the godfather himself, G-Webs. What's going on, my man? Not much. Thanks for the invite. No problem. Richard Chamberlain says, sup, folks. Sup, Richard. How you doing? And the man with the nasty virus, he's probably the one who's causing all of my software and, and all of that issues. The uh, the tactical leprechaun himself. Clover, what's up? <laughs> it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm having mouse issues, so. Um, they have traps I, for that. Good Lord. No, it's just old, like the, the clickers wore out on it. And right. So, um, yeah, sometimes you try to single click and it double clicks and sometimes you try to double click and it quadruple clicks and yeah, I've got to go get a new mouse in the morning. So if it takes me a minute to unmute, then that's, that's why I'm having, I'm having mice, mice issues. He needs this mice issues. Yeah. Warsaw there's, so you got to, you know, quit smoking the pipe, man. <laughs> no, <laughs> he said, no, no, no. Yeah, Midnight's out there saying he's dragging the panel down. Well, I mean, we knew that, but when, when I when I sent the link to you, I knew that it was going to happen. So it is what it is. What's up, Jesse B? Jesse B is out there. Well, guys, we obviously know that Thursday's Thanksgiving. I want to first start off the show by saying um, thank you so much to everyone that is watching the stuff, supporting the channel, sharing it, liking it, commenting on everything. Um you know, it's been crazy. So you think about this time last year, man, I, I was contemplating. I don't even, I think at this point we were just trying to think about if we were even going to try to go to SHOT Show. 
Um, you know, we'd only been on for a few months and all that. And what a year it's been since the last Thanksgiving. It's just been incredible. And, and that's all because of the viewers and the fans and the support that I get from you guys. So um, from the Ghost Tactical family, uh, which is me and my wife and my daughter and and on all that we want to sincerely thank everybody for always watching and supporting the channel we love you guys we hope you guys have a wonderful thanksgiving uh stay safe out there in your travels eat a lot of food gain a bunch of weight that's what it's all about uh clover you guys got anything special going on for thanksgiving i'm not entirely sure at this point mm -hmm. hopefully here once i get done here my wife will know a little something. Last I heard, because Thanksgiving is my birthday. Last I heard, I got to uh, yeah, I got to I got had to smoke ribs for my birthday. So uh, yeah, that's gonna be fun. But yeah, my my wife's okay. birthday is at twenty eight. So you know, once every ten years or whatever, it falls on her birthday. So this is kind of the once in a decade that falls on yours, I guess, huh? Yep. Well, uh, it's more than every, it's like every four or five years or something. Me. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah. G, what are you doing for Thanksgiving? Anything special? No, I hate Thanksgiving. Oh, okay. Everyone's got to hate something. Let's let's take on Thanksgiving. Uh Mike, what about you? You uh you gonna be with your daughter or is, is Christmas gonna be with your daughter? I can't remember what you when you said. Uh Thanksgiving. I'm gonna go ahead and go up to Charlotte solo, so I'm not gonna have my daughter on Thanksgiving. But okay, I'm gonna go so see your family. And, yeah, I'm gonna go hang out with some family up there. Nice, nice. Midnight, are you going to have to work Thanksgiving? I didn't know. Does, is the restaurant busy or are you guys no, closed or what? Nope, we're closed. Uh, yeah, okay. we're, we're closed on the major holidays. So I'll be I'll be doing stuff at home. Nothing nothing too crazy, just like the big four, big five, you know, turkey, yeah. stuffing, mash, gravy, that kind of thing. Nothing nothing too extravagant. But Are you going to throw the cheese ball in there this year? I don't know, man. You know, after the other night, that the the dark horse, you know, called it the dark horse. It made it all the way over there almost. It did. It it, it went a lot <laughs> farther than I thought it was going to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. And that was what's funny about it is somebody mentioned it, and my my brain exploded. I was like, oh man, those are those are awesome. Holy, how did we forget about this? <laughs> oh, uh, Patriot, what about you? You got anything big plans for Thanksgiving? Mm. Just for the record, I was the one that brought up the cheese ball with the bacon. So, oh, are he's you really? He's good, good for he's you. He's the cheesiest yeah, guy I, I know. He's he's the cheesiest guy I know. Of course you did. <laughs> course you Hopefully, did. I'll, I'll uh, my daughter will swing her mom into get getting us a couple of those. So, anyway, but yeah, we're we're just uh, we're kind of spreading it out. We got like two or three planned, and uh, Thanksgiving I'll I'll probably just be with with family, and my daughter will come back. Um, Friday when we're going out to the dad's house and that kind of stuff. So right, maybe right. maybe even sneak in some shooting out at the at the farm. So well, that would be I, awesome. I'm, I'm not going to tell anybody. We're just that's flying low key. So hopefully, oh, there you go, <laughs> well, guys. Uh, we're out there. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, um, obviously we can. Uh, ask questions on the chat and all that but if you want to you can text them i'm putting the phone number down in the side chat it's 530-36 ghost 530-364-4678 or 36 ghost go ahead and text any questions and all that and we'll get those up there that seems to be working pretty good uh last week we had several of them come through and and all that so it's just another way for people that are on their phone Maybe you just want to do a text. There's the number right there, 530-36-GHOST. So you can uh, send those in. Um, all right, so speaking of Patriot, he was talking about me getting out there and shooting. Uh, do any of you guys, and we don't have to go in order here, just if you have something going on, go ahead and spurt it out. We don't have to you know, be all structured on this one, but do you guys have any ranges around there that uh, might have like a turkey shoot or a competition or just a fun shoot or anything going on with that? My range are actually Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I believe first 20 people are getting free ammo, which I don't know how good that is because last time I went and stood in line for an hour, all I got was a hat. So, <laughs> well, <laughs> it was supposed to be a though. big swag pack, and, and it showed up. It was just a mesh hat. And, so, but hmm. they, 
It could be a lot worse. It could, it could have been like a penny or something, you know. Yeah, you stand out there for and get free ammo. Plus, you're already at the range, so can't That's complain. True. That's true. That's true. Anybody else have anything going on this weekend at the range? I know a lot of ranges will do maybe an open house type thing, open to the public to try to you know bring more people in. Didn't know if you guys had anything like that going on. The only thing I got going on this weekend is uh, another competition. And like I told you earlier, my goal is to get rated from a C-class shooter to an A-class shooter. So I'm trying to jump in as many competitions as possible to make this happen. That's right. Um, so you've got that this Sunday, is that right? Or Saturday? Saturday. Saturday, Saturday. okay. Is that going to be up there in Charlotte where you're going to be, or you have to come home for this? No, it's in a local area. So um Normally, what will probably take place is I'll probably, I'm going to leave tomorrow, head up to Charlotte, and I'll probably stay up there till Friday, come back Friday so I can prepare for Saturday. It looks like Arminthia and Clover are, are having family uh, negotiations on meals for his birthday slash Thanksgiving, and she <laughs> says she'll fix you whatever you want with some kisses out there. She's blowing your kisses. Yeah, they're wheeling and dealing, huh? I mean, I didn't, you know, I just, I, 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 I'm, I'm glad that they could use this time to, uh, converse about their life and all that. But, um, you know, the, the blowing the kisses, it's getting a little raunchy in here. So I'm going to ask you guys, this is a family show. So please no more blowing kisses. That it makes me a little nervous, you know, uh, Gary says he's going to his daughters. That's awesome. Um, let's see here. Uh, this is for G I think, uh, Kingpin out there said he just ordered his, um, Oh, excuse me. Just ordered his uh, firearms inventors trading cards. So that's awesome. Those things are amazing. So um, very cool. Thank you for that. Yeah. Um, so, all right. So everyone knows that Black Friday is upon us. And, you know, when we were growing up, Black Friday actually was at like six o'clock in the morning on Friday morning and all the stores would open up and you'd be have to be out there at four o'clock in the morning for two hours to hopefully get close enough to the front of the line to where you could actually get what you wanted. And there used to be some major, major brawls. I think we all remember the the old uh, Tickle Me Elmo scene from about 10 years ago where people were literally getting in fistfights. Um, it's, it's crazy. Um, but now, my wife and daughter are actually leaving Thanksgiving afternoon at 2 o'clock to go down to some stores or go up to some stores. I think it's maybe up there. They're going to Branson, I think which is a couple of three hours away. Their Black Friday starts at 6 p.m. Thanksgiving Day. So they're leaving around 2 o'clock on Thanksgiving Day to drive up to Branson and get in line for these sales. What's the world coming to, guys? I mean, Black Friday is Black Friday, but now it starts like November 1st. A lot of these things are saying, oh, you know, Black Friday sales starting November 1st. And, you know, I start seeing Christmas stuff in Walmart in October before you know Halloween. What is going on with this stuff, man? Are you guys seeing the same stuff? Are you guys seeing the Christmas songs, the Christmas decorations already? Well, I'll tell you, uh, I haven't gotten up and doing done any door busters in the last couple of years, but the last time I did do it, um, I ended up getting like one door buster thing, right, that you had to actually be there for. But while I was waiting on that, I was ordering stuff on my phone. And then when I left there, I just stopped at places and picked up the stuff that I bought. So a lot of times you don't, you should really be careful because a lot of times you don't actually have to be there. You can get the prices online and then pick them up at the store. It's, uh, they've, they've been doing that a lot lately too. So, uh, you know, save you a lot of time and trouble and you just plan out your day and go get your stuff. Well, see, let me ask you guys this and. This is for no particular order, but how many of you guys do most of your shopping online and get them delivered to you? It's so much easier to have them delivered and they're already wrapped a lot. You add a dollar to your order and they'll wrap them for you. That's all I do. Yeah, I mean, it's so much easier and um, you get better deals. Uh, Cyber Monday, you know, has turned into Cyber November again, so everything's going good. But uh, we want to talk gun stuff. We want to talk Black Friday deals that are gun, ammo, outdoor-related, hunting, you know, camping, hiking, all that stuff. I know that everyone and their mother seems to be putting out ads on Facebook and Instagram and all that, but uh, I'll start with Clover. So far, what's kind of the coolest uh, pre-Black Friday or Black Friday deal that you've kind of seen out there? Uh, I don't get – I don't follow a lot of the – 
I don't follow a lot of the in-store stuff because I'm just not into that scene. And honestly, I haven't seen any anything too crazy as far as online yet. Most of that's going to drop tomorrow or possibly Thursday. Um, I've got a lot. I've gotten several emails today that's like, you know, we'll send out the codes for this, that, or the other on Thursday. You know, right. So, um, what I've been, I'll release my newsletter, of course, tomorrow. And part of what I put in there is pay attention to my Instagram and stuff because as I get those codes in and the different things, I'm definitely going to share them and throw them out there. But, um, yeah, I've got a list here. It told us to get some things ready. But yeah, yeah, go you know, for nothing, it. Nothing really blows my, you know, blows my skirt up as far as, um, as far as stores out there, there's lots of places that, that I know have deals coming. I just don't know what they are. And that's right. uh sportsman's guide, of course, Brownells Midway. Uh, there's some cool stuff on Amazon and Walmart, both uh, not necessarily firearm related, but outdoor gear and things like that, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, Natchez uh, and Galloway Precision, I know for a fact. Uh, a couple of things that I do know at this point, Aero Precision has a 308 upper and lower, as well as the lower parts kit. Uh, just the upper and lower, just the receivers with the parts kit. They're like 249 or 269 or something, which is pretty cool. Um, Mutiny Shop, which is where I got the first set of patches. Uh, they're going to release a code Friday. Um, and the first, you know, first so many people get 35% off their order and then 30% of their order. And then it locks in on Black Friday at 20%. So you're guaranteed to lose 20% off if you're, if you're looking at getting um those types of patches made anyway they're not the the pvc right. uh primo targets uh 20 percent off the entire store tandem cross free shipping the entire store ontario knife uh 35 percent off uh on a, a large number of things there and then uh a1 custom steel targets uh orders 25 dollars or more get a free three inch target orders 50 dollars or more uh, will they will throw in the uh, free hangers and the uh, pipe stands? So that's kind of what I got on my list so far. Yeah, um, that's some pretty. That's a long list. That's good. G, have you seen anything out there that would catch somebody's eye on uh, Black Friday deals? No, but I haven't really. It's not in my radar. I mean, are are you as gear websites going to have any any special Thanksgiving or Black Friday deals for people that might be looking for some swag over there? Um, probably should do something. I planned on doing something on Monday. But, well, uh, Black Friday is a Friday deal. Do you have Free Patch Friday on uh on Friday? Well, that's true. Yeah. So guys, go check out gearwebsites.com. I want to throw in on the heels of that. I want to throw in two things. First of all, um dealing with my swag store and then something in general that I didn't mention earlier, but, um, uh, over on, uh, my store, I will be running a black Friday weekend, cyber Monday special. Uh, and you have to be signed up to, for the newsletter to get those codes and to get that. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give them out. Um, so if you haven't already jump over there and do that. Uh, also, uh, there will be codes in there for spread shirt, which handles the shirt store. Um, and there'll be some deals for that as well, some codes. The reason I mentioned the newsletter, um, I'm just simply signed up a lot of these places I mentioned, and they only send those codes out to people that are signed up. So right, right. Yeah, I get it that it's there's a lot of junk mail and stuff to be had, but if you can create a different email to catch all that stuff or whatever, especially this time of year, it's a good idea to be on those those uh, email lists. Mm-hmm. No, for sure. Um, Mike, what about you? You got anything that you've seen that's kind of caught your eye for Black Friday? No, um, I noticed like a lot of people had sales up before Black Friday, and then they said they're going to re-kick off something else. But um, I'm not a big shopper like that. You know, um, if I come across something I want, then if it's a sale on it, I'd be like, oh, wow, okay, great. But if not, you know, if I want it, I'm going to get it. Um, but now normally all the shopping I do is for my daughter at this time of the year. There you go. There you go. Um, I got a text message. They didn't say who it was and I don't have phone numbers saved on this software. 
Um, but they just said, if you guys want the best gear to buy online as far as cheap rigs and other stuff, uh, tactical de- tacticalgear.com. They're having some big flat black friday deal so i might want to check it out so whoever it was that sent that i thank you very much if you guys send a text make sure you kind of put your name at the end of it because uh that way i'll i'll actually see who it is because i haven't got an address book set up yet so it's just running through google voice and all that but uh yeah go ahead and uh check out tacticalgear.com that's i've actually looked at that stuff uh, as well they've got some really cool stuff uh midnight what about you uh, I haven't really <clears throat> scoured the internet for Black Friday stuff yet. Um, just kind of keeping my eyes open on some of the flyers that have come in the mail and things like that. Yeah. Um, I kind of hit up deals dot the, the gun dot net app a lot. I kind of like to browse yeah. through that and look mm-hmm. around. Um, they do a lot of stuff with. They show a lot of PSA stuff. PSA has a blem upper and lower for three hundred bucks right now in five five six. It's pretty awesome if you're looking for a. Yeah entry level ar if you want your first ar you know you can't it's tough to beat 299.99 you know exactly um yeah that's that's that's, that's really good um <laughs> yeah there's always gonna be some stuff and i remember, remember psa last year um i want to say they had like a um, was it bushmaster they had like for i was giving those things away but there's only like four of them or something like that they, uh, they yeah, somebody like, was doing it for like, it wasn't like 279 or something. Like, or it was like 79. four of them or some shit like that, you know? That was <laughs> yeah. that ammo place. Yeah. I won't mention. Um, it is what it is. Um, Patriot, what about you? I just sent you an uh, email. It's the, the gun deals that yeah. uh, Midnight was trying to steal from me. But uh, like Sportsman's Guide right now, 283 for a uh, uh, Smith & Wesson MMP15 and 22 uh, long rifle with, uh, I guess it's a 25 uh, round mag with a red dot and a soft case. So nice. That sounds pretty good for, a, I mean, if you want a 22, but um, they have several on there, several different things. But a lot of the things on that email were all linked to all the the deals from all the big names. So I sent it to you so you can read it. But otherwise I have two people talking in my ear. I already sound bad enough. So (laughs) the third voice talking. No. Yeah. The third one's the one you got to worry about, you know, uh, because you know, they say it's okay to, you know, to talk to yourself as long as you don't answer yourself. No, you you argue. If you get that third voice in there, you just never know who you're talking to, you know? As long as you keep winning, that's all I care about. And I don't win any arguments, regardless of if you're <laughs> or not. So it's all good. Um, no, uh, for me, guys, uh, yeah, I, I've got, uh, I've been watching a lot of this stuff on Instagram and, and getting a bunch of emails. Um, luckily, I've, I've uh, got some affiliate links and some partnership with some companies that have been really doing some really cool stuff. Uh, Sportsman's Guide, like uh, Clover said, Brownells, Palmetto State Armory. Uh, Crossbreed Holsters, We the People Holsters, and Concealment Express are some of the companies that uh, I've partnered up with on some affiliate link stuff. They're all running some cool Black Friday stuff. They're really cool. Uh, Sportsman's Guide's running some amazing pre-Black Friday stuff. But if you guys ever shop any of those companies, uh, I ask you to go to the website, www.ghosttacticalproductions.com. And there on the front page, I'll have links to all of those uh, companies right there. And you'll take them to the Black Friday deals. If you're going to shop those companies, why not go through our links and we get a little bit? It's not going to be a lot, but it's, you know, maybe to cover some ammo costs later down the road or something like that. But it's enough to uh, maybe support the channel a little bit. Go check out. I know Clover's got affiliate links. I'm sure G and and everyone here has got affiliate links. If you're going to shop some of the stores that we've partnered up with, um, it's great to, it's, it's, Gonna, you're going to spend money anyways, and a portion of that will go to back to the channel. So if you're going to go out there, go check out all these guys' affiliate links and see if you can help out the channel. If you're going to shop those places anyways, it's great to do that. Uh, Sportsman Guide's got some awesome pre-Black Friday stuff. I've been looking at some stuff. And, um, you know, they've got the uh, the Smith & Wesson MP22 Sport Kit. You know, it was 350 Now it's 303 That includes the rifle bag and all that. I think, you know. Uh, they've got an ATI uh, AR uh, five five six that was listed at four ninety nine. It's now listed for three seventy nine. That's an ATI hybrid AR fifteen for three seventy nine. Uh, was five hundred. That's that's pretty good. Um, 
What's that? Hey, the that uh, one that I said, uh, yeah. Sportsman's Guide. You use the code Warrior to get it for the two eighty three or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Now that that okay. one's a special code. Yeah, but this is just on their website. If you oh. use the other one, if you use the other code, and, and they have different promotions, obviously. But yeah, that one's for like two eighty six or two eighty nine or two eighty three. It was two eighty something. If you use Warrior, yeah. Okay. Okay. I and this is just kind of on their sportsman's guides thing, but that that was a special code that they ran started running maybe November first or something like that. But you use that code and you'll get it for less. Um, let's see here, some ammo stuff. Uh, American Eagle two two three. Uh, we're looking at six dollars and twenty six cents. That comes down to um, thirty one cents a round. I mean that's six dollars and twenty six cents for a box of two two three. That's pretty good right there. Um, let's see here. I saw some other ones that were really really good. Um, Diamondback um, chambered in three hundred eight win is um, seven forty down from seven ninety nine. So you're going to save fifty bucks on that. They've got some pretty good stuff. Like I said, Sportsman's Guide's got some really, really awesome stuff. Let's go over to PSA and see what they're running here for the old Black Friday and pre-Black Friday. They've got the Black Pack Bucks. Get up to $100 back on different stuff. Um, let's see here. We've got all, they've got all sorts of stuff, man. PSA always seems to run, and I was going to try to get Ellis on here, but he's he was working. I was going to see if Ellis could jump on, and if he shows up later, maybe he can. And as I'm sure by now they've kind of gone over what the PSA deals are going to be, and he might have um, a little bit more insight as to. I know he said the other the other day he wasn't allowed to say he knew some stuff, but he wasn't. You know, the employees weren't allowed to say. Right. Um, let's just look at their Black Friday stuff they've got on the line. So. Um, Let's see here. A PSA 16 inch, uh, mid length 556, five, upper um, 169.99. Uh, they've got one for the 329, a PSA 8.5 pistol link for 329. That's the, I mean, that's the whole pistol kit, basically. That's the whole kit for 329. Was 649. So you're basically getting half off. 50% off. This is the, uh, let me see if I can get this link and I'll put, this is a pretty good link. If you guys are looking for a pistol kit, uh, that's the link right there. And I don't know if I, I might get a strike for that one. I probably shouldn't do that. Yep, I'm going to take that off. That's a direct link to a, I don't know, probably shouldn't do that. Anyways. Um, hopefully I think I, I think I took it off, removed it, but, We'll see here. Um, anyways, yeah, go to check out PSA and all that. Because there's some really, really, really good stuff out there. Um, trying to think of anything else we saw on Instagram. There's all sorts of stuff that uh, people are throwing pictures out there with using different codes and all that. So if you're interested, there's always going to be some stuff. Let's kind of go out into the, the chat and see what's going on out there and uh, see if they're talking about any deals at all. Let's Anybody mentioned the black pack ammo? That's the rebate. Oh. You know, there's rebates on that, and that stuff is on sale all over the place, plus the rebate. So it just kind of depends. If you so, if you find it and it's out of stock one place, um, try try another place and see what you can see what you can get there. The G's out there are these really? Uh, it's just marking. I think people are really honestly. Um, I think people are, I know that I am, I think people are trying to avoid going shopping as much as possible. Uh, I know I do personally. I can't stand going to Walmart on a normal day, much less if it's, you know, around the holiday season. So it's just one of those things that um, I like to go get my shopping online. Like I said, you can buy it online. You're usually going to get it a little bit cheaper. And if you do it early enough, it's going to be here well before Christmas. If, you, if you're if you sending to someone you want, you can have them ship it directly to them. Pay an extra dollar or two dollars to that price, and it'll be gift wrapped. So, I mean, I, I try to avoid going into stores as much as possible. My wife and daughter, 
they're going up to Branson. There's some uh, polo and coach and different places that are having like 60, 70 percent off sales. Uh, and for them, it's worth the two hour drive and the hassle of being around people. For me, uh, it's not. Um, I try to avoid shopping at all costs. I will try to do everything online. Do you guys still do a lot of Christmas shopping at malls or at stores? Or like you said, I mean, is it mostly online now? I know, Miles, you said that uh, most of it's online. Is that right? We do. You know, we do something a little bit different for the most part. We do ours more or less all year long because yeah. you'll be in places and they'll have this clearance and that clearance and whatever. So, and it's good stuff. You know what I mean? It's just for whatever reason, they, they're not going to carry it anymore, that store, or, or it's seasonal, or whatever the case may be. Um, so we pick, we pick up a lot of stuff that way throughout the year, so there's really not a lot when it comes Christmas time that we actually have to go out and buy. Yeah, that's, plus, that's we, plus, plus we save money. <laughs> oh, yeah. I kind of luck out, mean? though. Huh? I I, I kind of luck out. I I have uh, since I don't do much driving. <laughs> my my uh, daughter's mom she does the the Black Friday stuff. Right. So I'll just right. kind of say, hey, uh, if you see X Y Z, you know, pick it up. I mean, obviously that doesn't work with rifles and anything fun, but you know, anything else, I I have her do that kind of shopping. I just dump her some money and yeah smile that I don't have to go, but I do this stuff on online. And so if I see something that, you know, she, she's looking for or whatever, then we kind of trade off. So it's kind of nice, but no, I don't like yeah. people. I'm anti-social. Yeah. I think <laughs> right out there says classic has some deals. Kentucky gun company and Olight. Yeah. I heard Olight's going to come out with, uh, another pretty good Black Friday sale. I know that, uh, gee, you just went all like, good lord. <clears throat> the hell was that? Everybody okay? How oh, rude. I was Make, just making sure that, you know, that it wasn't me. Travis didn't fall off a ladder or something. He's not talking. I hope he's okay. Anyways, we'll move on. Not that worried. Uh, but no, there's uh, like, old lights gonna come out. They had a really big sale for something. I can't remember what it was early in the year that a lot of people got involved with. Uh, but they they're gonna do some stuff, and you're, you're gonna find all sorts of stuff, guys. If you're looking for a deal, this is the time of year. If you're looking to maybe do a build, and you're looking for lowers or uppers or whatever, you can get them. I'll tell you this much: um, you'll be able to buy a complete AR probably for cheaper than you're gonna be able to find them. You also have to remember that in the next two months, a lot of these companies are going to start putting out their 2019 line of models of guns. And so, you know, they're going to use the Christmas holiday to sell as much of the 2018 stock that they still might have because all of the new guns coming out in 2019 will be coming out here before too long before SHOT Show. So there's going to be some remarkable deals to be had on guns, ammo, all that stuff. So, um, you know... Travis, you all right there, man? Oh, yeah, I'm good. I'm muted by accident. No, I'm just making sure that you. It's not like you fell or something. I don't know. No. Uh no. -uh. No. Oh. Okay. No, I I hit my I hit the trackpad with my palm of my hand. Unmuted myself. Mm, okay. <clears throat> all right. Just making sure. Did Did you mention any of like the I know the Amazon how they usually used to do the week before or whatever, but if you're mm. looking for you know, the cleaning kits and, you know, gun pads and different things that obviously aren't firearms because they don't do anything like that. Um, that might be, I don't know if they show up in those sales or not. I haven't, yeah. I haven't checked them out, especially this year. I haven't looked at any of them, but they have those steel flashes or lightning something or others. Right. Um. And yeah, there's been the Amazon flash sales all week so far. All the time, yeah. And it and it's little. I mean, it's you have to catch the right thing, but you can catch some really cool stuff though. You know. Yep. Uh, Mike, you said you're looking for some good ammo deals. You're looking for nine millimeters since that's what you're shooting in competition. Yeah, I normally stick around um, 115 grain nine millimeter. Okay. Have you ever been over to Ammo.com or LAX on any of those? 
No, because normally when I would get it, I would either go to Palmetto State Armory or I order from Ammo Supply Warehouse. And um, okay. between those two, I've always found the better prices, you know. Um, but then again, I'm that one that really like likes to sit on a computer and just search for the better deal, you know, unless right. like I'm talking to somebody and like you or Clove happen to say, yo, check this place out. And then I'll go check them out and do a comparison. I used to find some really good deals over at LAX Ammo. I think it's LAXAmmo.com. Let me just check. I think I heard it. I think I got my thing. Yeah, it's LAXAmmo.com. They've got some Black Friday stuff. They've actually got some really cool stuff that's on sale. Um, a CMC trigger for the AR-10 or AR-15, uh, 119. And CMC triggers are pretty good. Um, let's see here. Um, but you've got ammo. Let's just take a uh, can shop by. Let's see here. Handgun. Let's go to nine millimeter for you and see what they got. Uh, do you have a preferred company that you usually like to shoot? I mean, I know you'll wear the Fiocchi hat, but I don't know if that's something you always like to do or not. Well, you know, normally it's between Fiocchi and Blazer um and blazer's good stuff i love blazer yeah um let's see here here's one i mean lax they've got their factory new and it's their brand and i have not really tested as far as competitive shooting i have shot some of it just for stuff back in the day but for 1500 rounds you get them for 280 395 for 1500 rounds and it comes in a box uh, a little uh, ammo box so you're talking about if you're looking 1500 rounds for 283, if you're looking to do some testing and all that, that might be something people look at. Well, so that's where Clo that's where Clover was talking about those black packs. Clover mm -hmm. is uh, mm -hmm. Clover was talking about the federal that and Blazer, they're mm -hmm. running that um, on Gun Dot Deals right now. 115 grain nine millimeter, um, 65 bucks after twenty dollars mail in rebate for 500 rounds. 65 oh, bucks. And free shipping and handling over twenty five. So it's on gundeals.com. Yeah, it's gun dot deals, and that one's coming from Academy Sports. Okay, so gun dot I haven't been to this website. So gun dot deals, they just kind of find stuff from the internet all over the place, huh? Yeah, it used to be slick guns and they changed okay. it. Okay. But they just yeah, they, yeah, they just find stuff from all oh, over the place. But sixty five sixty five bucks for five hundred rounds. Yeah, it's crazy. That is awesome. That is awesome. Holy cow. That's the email I sent you. Uh, I didn't get the email. Oh. Maybe I sent it to somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's all good. Guitar Man Pete says he's uh, out of gun money. It'll be tax time. That's that's going to happen. It is going to happen. I know that uh, people... People will wait till tax season to get a lot of their bigger purchases done. Now you're talking about TVs and stuff. I was over at Walmart the other day uh, picking up something, and there was like a 55 inch HD TV for like 179. I was like, they're selling 55 inch TVs for under 200 dollars now, and that's crazy. Now maybe that's just a Black Friday kind of a week thing, but I mean that's that's crazy. A 55 inch for under 200 dollars. You know, you can go get one of those for a big ass computer monitor. You know, well, that, you spend, that, obviously you tells you, yeah, that obviously tells you they might be coming out with a 6K next. Well, like I said, this wasn't 4K. This was just regular HD. So that's probably why it was cheaper because they're trying to push the 4K. And you're right, they're coming out with some ultra 4K or something. I'm sure here pretty soon. Uh, Warsaw says Antifa books and T-shirts. What? Um, that same, oh, Walmart. okay, I got you from Academy, that same federal black label for mm -hmm. 22 long rifle, 36 grain rim fire, 1600 rounds, $29 after rebate. Wow. 30 bucks for 1600 rounds. You got a little kid shooting at home, man. You could stock him up for the year, you know, for 30 oh, bucks. Yeah. No doubt. Um, you're talking about, um, these cool things i'm trying to see a sportsman's guide scott uh, now this is a if you're talking about a great christmas present and this is like no joke like for real a great christmas present this is over a uh, sportsman's guide they got a ruger lcp 
380 $170.48 shipped after the code WARRIOR. So that warrior code is working for a lot of things. But if you're talking about getting a gift of a gun for somebody, especially if they're looking for a, a, a carry gun, obviously the Ruger LCP is as good as it comes. It's it's tried and true. It's one of the best-selling guns every year for the last decade. $170.48 shipped after the code warrior. Plus, you get a $50 gift card. So you're going to get a, a great gun for $170 plus a $50 gift card. So go check it. That one's over at Sportsman's Guides. Use the code Warrior Ruger LCP. $170.48 shipped plus a $50 gift card with the with the uh the code Warrior. So man, I'm telling you. Y'all got um, Sportsman's Guide affiliate link. So mm-hmm. link to somebody's off of somebody's page if they're gonna do that, because that's a smoking deal. And yeah. I mean, uh, I mean, Clover, you can put yours out there. I'll put mine out there as well. But yeah, just go to uh, www. Uh, dot. Well, here I'll just put Ghost Tactical Productions. and right there on the front page. And if you go to clovertac. dot com, you'll you'll see it there as well because we both are affiliates with uh, with Sportsman Guide. But go to, to those right there. And support whoever you want, man. You you don't have to support me. You can support him. It doesn't matter. But if you're going to go shop some of these things and you you want to support your creators as well, it doesn't cost you anything. You're going to go shop there anyways. Go through the links on our website. You'll still be able to get the same deals. Plus, we'll get a little percentage back from them. So it's a really um, it's a really great deal. And it all adds up. You get a, a dollar here and a dollar there. Next thing you know, you're able to buy ammo for another review video or something like that or all sorts of stuff. You can go buy, you know, some giveaway items for the for the viewers or whatever. But all of those little dollars added up, they really do they really do add up at, in time. So, uh, like I said, if you're going to go shop some of these, go check out Clovertech.com. Go check out our website, and you'll find our affiliate links. And just click on there, on those links. Go shopping. If you spend money there, we'll get helped out as well. So, I uh, appreciate you very much. And Ashley says, way to support each other in the community. Exactly. You're, you're supporting the community on multiple levels at that point. You're actually buying products for the gun community, and you're also helping the creators out at the same time. So it's really, you know, you're, you're killing two birds with one stone. So uh, we always appreciate that. Like I said, if you're going to be shopping anywhere, we ask you maybe you use our links and um, all of that. Uh, George Turker says, use the link and the gift card. can go towards the Black Label Ammo, and you'll get a rebate on the ammo. Exactly. I mean, yeah, you, you go get that LCP. And for $170 through Sportsman's Guide, shipped $170 plus a $50 gift card, you go to then Academy and get one of those black label ammo deals. You're basically going to have to pay total $190 for what, 500 rounds of ammo and a gun. That's pretty small right there. That's that's pretty awesome. So yeah, you know, you get these gift cards. A lot of people do gift cards. So utilize the gift cards because that's going to save you money on different purchases. So absolutely keep using them, you know, and, and try to be as cheap as you can because that's what this is all about. It's trying to get as much for your buck as you can. Um, so yeah, and if you guys have never shot a Ruger LCP, it's 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 an amazing, amazing little 380. Um Probably one of the best little three eighties in the world, and and they're like I said, one hundred and seventy dollars. Their sportsman's guide. Um, anything else you guys want to talk about about Thanksgiving? Um, what is we can go through this? We went through a little bit on Travis's, but um, what is your traditional meal on Thanksgiving? We'll start with uh, Clover. Traditionally, you know, maybe you may do a smoked turkey or something, but traditionally, what are what's your uh, go to Thanksgiving meal? Man, it totally depends on where. <laughs> which one you're talking about unfortunately uh my wife's family is they're kind of all over the map sometimes with stuff um as far as my side of the family uh it, it's pretty traditional it's turkey maybe a ham potatoes peas and beans of some kind usually a casserole you know rolls that that type of thing and then as far as us here, we're kind of all over the map, too. She was talking about earlier it being uh, going from ribs to now talking about breakfast. So I don't know. Yeah. I'm not I'm not picky as long as uh, 
As long as it keeps me from being hungry, I'm good. Breakfast for Thanksgiving? Yeah, sure. Why not? Breakfast food any time of the day is great. I'm intrigued by how you would put a Thanksgiving spin on it. <laughs> let's hear it. Let's let's hear how you would spin it a little bit here. Well, I'll just be thankful I'm getting something to eat. So there you go. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, breakfast food is always good, but I mean, um, we used to go growing up, we used to go to the Cowboy games, going up in Dallas with the Cowboy games every Thanksgiving. And so we always had, uh, Thanksgiving tailgates. So there was three or four families. We all sat together and went together at every game. And so we sit out in the parking lot and we would tailgate and each family would bring a couple of different dishes and we'd sit out there and tailgate for a couple hours before the game and throw the football around and, you know, someone would bring turkey, someone would bring ham, someone would bring mashed potatoes, someone would bring all this stuff and the other, and we would just sit there. And those are some of the funnest memories I've ever had is just kind of the potluck in the, you know, cowboy parking lot. Um, Thanksgiving, so I love it. I love it. Uh, G, traditionally, um, is there anything special that you definitely want to have on Thanksgiving Day? No, I don't like Thanksgiving. I know you don't like it, but it, it's it's food. We're not, we're not talking about the day. We're talking about the food. No, that's half the reason I quit eating meat. I don't like Thanksgiving. Okay, so you don't eat like green bean casserole or anything like that? I don't like much of it at all. No. Okay, all right, all right. Uh, Mike, what about you? Anything that is always, you know, you know that's your go-to Thanksgiving stuff? Uh, last Thanksgiving, my brother came down, and he spent it with me, and I fried a turkey then, and that was my first time frying a turkey. And um, I think this time around, I'm hoping when I go up to Charlotte, somebody fried a turkey because that's all I'm looking forward to. And some macaroni and cheese. Mac and cheese, huh? Yeah, and fried turkey. <laughs> all right. So is it like the deep fried turkey? Yeah, you know how you, um, you cook it in the like trash oil? Trash can or whatever, oil. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I've had a buddy of mine that does that. And he's been doing it for a while, but... Um, apparently that's extremely dangerous. Do you do it yourself or do you have someone else do it for you? Um, actually I did it myself and I went to last year I was in Walmart and I was doing some grocery shopping and they had these, um, turkey fryers for like 50 bucks. And I just went ahead, bought one and cooked it up. It did everything. I did it on the kitchen table <laughs> last year, just right. like that. Yeah. So it was, it was decent. Um, I was scared something was going to happen cause I heard all the horror stories, but I think yeah. that's because you're cooking it outside on, on the gas and everything, but this was electric. So, yeah, I've like I said, I, a buddy of mine does it, and I've had it. I've had his before, and it's amazing. Don't get me wrong, but um, I said and I made a mention to him one time, maybe last year. I said oh, that'd be kind of cool. I might try that, and he goes, Ah, said, if you're gonna try it, you know, come over here and we'll do it together. You know, I've been doing it for ten years and all that, and I was like, Oh, really? He goes, Oh man, yeah, you can bring your house down if you're not careful. I was like, Are you serious? He goes, Oh yeah. And I was like, well, I'm not going to do it then. So, I mean, I don't know, but it was really, really good. But I don't know if I'm ever going to try because my wife doesn't like turkey anyway. So um, we always have a ham for, for Thanksgiving. Um, but we'll get into that in a little bit. Uh, Mohawk, you know, you, I know you said it's the big four or five, but do you guys see anything like you usually throwing like a different kind of a dessert every year? Or do you always change uh -oh. it somehow, some way? <clears throat> not really. My, my wife does this. Uh pumpkin cheesecake the little mini pumpkin cheesecakes those are slamming i hope she does those um i i do my turkey i have a video out there on how i do my turkey so if you're interested you could check it out um i debone it and brine it i'll be doing that tomorrow so it brines for like oh, wow. a day and a half um and that way it cooks really fast and i can use the carcass for sauce you know for for a stock um <clears throat> but yeah, when if you fry turkey, be careful, man. That stuff can get nasty. Um, do it, do it in your driveway, or do it in the middle of your backyard. Don't do it in your garage. Don't do it in your basement. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, make sure it's totally thawed, totally dry, and doesn't have the giblets inside of it or anything, because that you you really can turn your turkey into a bomb. At you know, if you get too much, if you get a bunch of ice in there or something like that. So yeah, it's pretty scary. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Rich. Anything special that is a tradition for you guys that might be different than everybody else? I called you Rich, didn't I? I'm looking at Rich White out there's comment. I'm a sorry, Patriot. I think I said Rich, but I was looking at Rich White. Patriot, do you do anything special out there? Oh, man. 
I, I, I just called you rich white. I'm sorry, I, God, do you forgive me? I just got, I just got an email. I figured I'd do a little PSA. Uh, okay, sure. Go for it. Said, what is uh, it? Not the CDC. Yeah. Said not to eat romaine lettuce. They said there's E. coli and it's been in 11 states. And I'm sorry. there's like 18 people here and 18 people in Canada, which that's Canada, but 18 people here have came down with E. coli and they got one with uh, some kind of kidney failure. I'm not a doctor, so I don't read that kind of stuff. But so stay away from the romaine lettuce. That's that's the full things, pieces. Now, is know, this a salad. regional thing or is this across the country? Across the country. As a, no as more romaine lettuce. Morning. That's going to suck for salads on Thanksgiving. But eh, substitute leaf lettuce. Yeah, yeah, it's just you know if you buy those bags, or some cabbage. Yeah, the, if you buy the bags, it's got the carrots and the mix. Just make sure it doesn't have the pieces of romaine in it. So, anyways, with that being said, as long as there's no green bean casserole, I'm great. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, cheese uh, ball, gotta have those there. Cheese ball, gotta have the cheese ball. Yep, yep. 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 Ham. I like I like the ham, like the turkey. Now, do you uh, go stuffing. spiral ham, or what kind of ham do you usually go for? Anything they'll give me. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, the, the spiral hams. I mean, that's that's what everybody, you know, especially the people that don't, you know. Now, where are you going for dinner when you say they're good to you? Are you going to the shelter or something? What's up? No, I well, I I used to do all that stuff here, but you know, I'm yeah. I'm single with my beautiful daughter, and we like to go other places. So we're going to you know grandma's house. And then we're going to grandpa's house and she's, you know, so we, we kind of travel around and kind of test everybody else's cooking out. And yeah. Yeah. You know, if so, but we don't get pizza. So that's the only bad thing, I guess. Yeah. But the relish is really good. The, the orange and cranberry, cranberry take, and orange. Yeah. That's not bad. You take that's the full bad. orange and the full cranberries and you blend them up with a little sugar in there. That's so. pretty, that sounds pretty good. Um, yeah, we're, uh, we always go with spiral ham and we always do that. Uh, my wife doesn't like Turkey. So very rarely do we, you know, every now and then we'll go with both a ham and a Turkey. If parents are going to be over there and it's gonna be a lot of people, then we'll go both ham and Turkey, which will be fine. Cause she doesn't eat it. So I'll have, that's just that much more for me. Cause I really do like, uh, smoked Turkey. I like baked roasted Turkey, but if, if I had a choice, um, smoked turkey is kind of for me. That's it's just really good. But we'll go with ham. Obviously, green bean casserole. Um, we'll go with hash brown casserole. It's really really good. And then uh, down front, down in Texas, where I'm from, there is a barbecue place called Rudy's, and they're world famous for their cream corn. And it's the greatest cream corn you've ever had. If you like cream corn, go to Rudy's. You can actually buy it online. They'll ship it to you. But um, I, I kind of um, found the recipe that was. Uh, one of those knockoff recipes and all that. And I kind of added some stuff and all that. And it's really, really good. So I always do a big old thing of cream corn. We'll do um, an interesting thing. Uh, my my mom likes it. So when, she, when, they're, when they're there, we'll do it for her. Uh, it's called a tuna fish casserole. And it's really simple. It's a lot like a green bean casserole. You just take some cans of tuna fish, cream and mushroom soup, and like Lay's potato chips and, and put the Lay's on top and it, you bake it and all that. So it's pretty simple, but... It's easy, but it's it's not bad. And then we'll always do like brownies and then we'll do some kind of a cake. And my wife and daughter were at a wedding over the weekend and they had a cake that was supposedly like the greatest thing in the world. It's a strawberry cake with layers of cream cheese filling inside of it and then a buttercream chocolatey uh, buttercream frosting on top of it. They said it was amazing. So I believe the uh, we're going to have one of those. We're going to make one of those. So. I'm looking forward to that. We're going to gain about 25 pounds over the weekend for sure. All right. Um, we're almost at the top of the hour. I know that night strike will be kicking off here pretty soon. I wish I had my camera on. Um, we're going to do some giveaways real quick. And I think what I'll do is as we get done with this, I'm going to shoot a quick video to put it up there so you guys can see it. Um, but uh, i got a tack pack. And I want to say thanks to Johnny. Johnny uh, sent me a tack pack. And there's some really cool stuff in here. Um, I'm sure you've probably seen other people's videos that, you know, are getting the same tack pack. But uh, there is some pretty cool stuff out there in these things. Uh, and we're going to give some of these items away. A couple of them, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to uh, keep one of them. I'm going to keep, it's the, uh, it's a kind of a beige uh, tack pack beanie. 
just because um, I'm going to go train next week and I might need a beanie. So I'm going to keep this for myself. But the other stuff I'm going to give away. The first one, I know you can't see it. I wish you could. But um, it's from Real Avid. It's an AR-15 pivot pin tool. Uh, just one click, snap, you're done. You change the uh, pivot pin in less than 60 seconds. So if you guys are out there needing one for your AR builds and all of that, uh, we're going to do a giveaway real quick. And uh, I'm going to put in the side chat. Um, let's see here. What can we do here? What kind of a question can we ask? Um, I'm going to do this. We're going to do this. Um, Clover was talking about the turkey. What kind of turkey did Clover say that is his favorite? First person answer is going to win an AR-15 pivot pin tool. What kind of turkey does Clover prefer? We're talking roasted and all that stuff. What kind does he like? The first one out there to say it is going to get it. Uh, Jen Davis. Jen Davis. Smoked turkey. That hit. Clover's is a cooked one. There you go. Uh, Jen, uh, what's that? I was going to say dead. Well, yeah, that, that, yeah, yeah, I, I would imagine that'd be a good one. Uh, wild <laughs> Calaveras is wild at 90 proof. Uh, my the, the street that I actually live on, no joke, is called Wild Turkey Lane. Not because it's an alcoholic street that we have, um, but we actually have a bunch of wild turkeys that live in our neighborhood. So um, but it's called Wild Turkey Lane. Our street sign has been, I've lived there for 10 years now. And our street sign has been stolen at least 20 times because at least twice a year, the county has to come out and put a new street sign on my street every year. And it's everyone stealing the wild turkey street sign. So pretty cool. So Jen Davis, go ahead and send me an email. Congratulations. You won the AR-15 pivot pin tool uh, from Real Avid. And um, I'll be posting some Instagram posts and all of that and letting you know who won. But email me your address at live at ghosttactical.us. Live at ghosttactical.us. And send me your email address, and I'll get this out in the mail to you tomorrow. Congratulations, Jen. The uh, the next one, this is a pretty cool one. Uh, it's a mag light LED flashlight, um, 47 lumens. It comes with the flashlight itself and a keychain thing and a AAA battery. It's all included. And this is one of these little cool little handheld mag lights that uh, go on your keychain. These are pretty, pretty awesome. Um, Clover, do you have a question that you want to ask for the mag light? Can you think of anything, or Mike, or G, or Midnight, or Pedro? Any come up with a really cool question to give away the mag light? I got a question. All right, go ahead and put the um, the answer over in the side chat for us. Okay. Side uh, chat. So, um, at the beginning of the show, I okay. stated that. Um, are you ready for the question? Yep, go for it. All right. So, at the beginning of the show, I stated that. I was going to go from a certain class shooter to another class shooter. What was the second class um, title that I gave? Okay, so you're, you're talking about the class that you hope to get to soon, right? Correct. All right, so what class? Uh, looks like Guitar Man Pete. Is that yep. correct? That is correct. Pete! Going to an alpha shooter is what his goal is here pretty soon. An alpha shooter. So, uh, Guitar Man Pete, uh, congratulations. You won the uh, Mag Light Solitaire LED flashlight. It's a pretty cool little flashlight. Um, and once again, thank you to Johnny and the Tack Pack for sending stuff. Uh, some really cool stuff. But, uh, you know, I'm going to, I like to share in the wealth a little bit. So, Pete's going to get the Mag Light. Uh, Pete, go ahead and email me, brother. I, th I think I probably already have your email, but just in case. I mean, I already have your address, but go ahead and just in case, email me and we'll get this out there to you tomorrow as well. Uh, mag light flashlight. That's a pretty cool one. And the last one we're going to go, I wish you guys could see this. This is, I'll, 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 I'll put a picture of our Instagram when the, when the show's over so you guys can see all of them. Uh, but it's a JE machine tech. Uh, they sent an actual, uh, AR 15, uh, an AR stock. And this is a pretty, pretty cool stock. As a matter of fact, I think what I'm going to do is before I send this out to somebody, I think I might do a review on this as well. So what I might do, it might take me about a week or so um, 
to get this to whoever wins it. If you guys don't mind, what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to go throw this on the AR over the weekend and do a quick review on it and then package it up and send it out next week. So whoever wins this, I think would, um, if you don't mind, I think I will do a review on this before I send it out. But I'll put it back in the original packaging and all that, and it'll be in good shape. I just want to do a review on it because this is a pretty, pretty, it's a little bit heavier than like a Magpul that I've got on mine right now. Uh, it's a little bit heavier, but it is a really, really cool. Go to uh, je-machine.com, and you'll see their stocks, and that's what we're looking at right here. Uh, it's pretty awesome stock. Like I said, it's a little bit heavier than a Magpul, but it's it also seems like maybe it's a little bit steadier. It's got a nice little, uh, it doesn't have a, a chin rest on it, but it's kind of textured, and it's kind of formed where it's probably a lot easier to uh, get the chin rest on there. So it's, it's a really cool design. I'm really looking forward to it. But um yeah, and if you have problems with the battery compartments in that, then then you can check my Instagram video out because yeah. uh, my redneck self had had issues trying to manipulate those. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, don't come with instructions. So no, it does not. There are no instructions. Um, I'll give you that. But um, but yeah, we're gonna. Uh, I'll do a review on this and I'll get this out to uh, whoever wins. Uh, Clover or G, do you have a question or midnight or Patriot? A really good question. This is a stock. Let's make it I'll a put one in if the, you can. I'll put one in the side chat. That's all right. Let me check and see what it is. What's the name of that uh, stock? Again? Which model of it? What's the? This is the PS uh, ST7 Bravo. PS ST7 Bravo model under je machine.com. PS ST Sierra Tango 7 Bravo is the model. It just literally came in a plastic bag, so there's like no markings on it and all that. But the, on the back of it, um, it says PSST7 Bravo. So uh, let's see here. Let me see your questions here. Um, what company has what other ammo brands? Okay, so um, you talking about? Okay, yeah. So the, you talking about Blazer, the ammo company? Is that what you're talking about? Clover. Yeah, right. Yeah, go for it. Go ahead and ask that question. Yeah. Yeah, since we were talking about Blazer earlier, uh, the company that owns Blazer also owns three other ammunition brands. Mm -hmm. Name those three brands. <laughs> the answer is not 42, Caleb. <laughs> <laughs> is it this stock? PS could mean Pro Series. It's the Pro Series, yeah. Um, let me see. I'll, I'll click on that. Um no, that does not look like the stock. Uh, go back. This is the uh, ST7 Bravo. Caleb got it, by the way. Caleb, Caleb got it. All right, let me take the and go back over here to my. Uh, so Caleb got it. So Caleb, congratulations. Clay, Clay and Dead Horse got it combined, but I don't know how they would. Yeah. Split that, uh, yeah. I don't know how they would split the stock. So <laughs> they can cut it in half, you know. But Caleb got all of them. But Caleb, Caleb's going to get the stock once again. Caleb, I am going to do a take this out, and I'm going to do a video uh, review this weekend, and then I will put it back in the uh, the wrapper and and mail it off to you next week. So I hope it's okay with you. I do that. Either way, uh, you're going to get this stock. It might be a little bit used, but we're talking 25, 30 rounds of the max. I might go through. Maybe I maybe I might go through two mags. So let's say 60 rounds at the most, just to kind of get an idea of this. This feels like, but. Uh, I will send this to you. Congratulations, you did win the uh, the stock for AR-15. So uh, it'll get I'll get it out to you next week. Just email here? me. What's that now? Is this it here? Uh, let's see here. Let me click on you. Who you don't see is Remington, right? That looks like the one that says it's uh, the seven. Yeah, Remington is UMC. Yeah, the seventy nine ninety nine one. That looks like this one. Okay. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, so it's basically an LMT SOP mod. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's it right there. That's it. So it's a $79 stock. I mean, you know. Um, yeah. SOP mods are made in, the, made in the USA on top of everything else, so you can't beat that. But, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty cool stock. I mean, like I said, um, and thanks again to Tack Pack and to Johnny for having them send this to me. Uh, the Tack Pack thing, man, I'm really interested in, in probably – um, get in on that thing because I think that they really got some really cool gifts that come through every month and all of that. So, um, Pete, I just got your email. 
Thanks. Appreciate it. I think I probably already have it, but um, I think, as a matter of fact, I know I have it, but just in case. Uh, the last of them was going to be a, a, a little stocking, a little beanie cap, but I am going to keep this because um, I want to need this next week when I go over to Tennessee to train. So I will, um, I'm going to keep that one, but I don't think anyone wants to use it after I wear it for a weekend. So uh, that's kind of disgusting, but. But it is a really nice stock, um, and I will. Uh, what I will do is I will also uh, post some pictures on Instagram and on Facebook when the, when the show is over, and announce the winners of those and tag those different companies so you can thank them or whatever and thank Tac Pack and uh, thank thank JB because JB is the one that uh, sent it to me. So thanks, Johnny. I appreciate that. Um, guys, we're gonna kind of get out of here, and and I've got some stuff I gotta do because I'm actually gonna have to go take care of a lot of stuff tomorrow because my family is leaving Thursday, so tomorrow's gonna be pretty busy. Let's gonna run through the room real quick and uh, wish everybody Thanksgiving and do all your plugs. Uh, Miles, what you got going on? How close are you, my friend, to fifty? Oh, I'm not that old. Jeez, <laughs> <laughs> uh, too close. I think no. Uh, videos, I'm, I'm yeah. up there. Blind challenge videos. Like How many more to 50? Or so. I think I got like 41 videos. So it's it's creeping up there. If it takes you guys too long, I might have to make a couple myself to throw in there. Not that I win, but yeah, I'm getting bored with this one. <laughs> but I do appreciate everybody that's that's been doing them. And they've been great. And I like how it's been carrying over to other videos they're doing too. So it's not, you know... Oh, it's pretty good, but have a, a wonderful Thanksgiving and make sure to hug your kids and parents and old people too. They need hugs. That's it. Right. Be safe. Thanks for coming on, buddy. And you guys have a great Thanksgiving with you and the family and all of that. Um, midnight, you got anything coming up? Uh, are you going to do a show this Sunday or you got anything special? Yeah, I'm hopefully, hopefully, as long as everything goes to plan. Um, <clears throat> and I'll say too, with the uh, with the blind challenge, hit up some of these guys that haven't done them yet. You know, Yankee didn't do one, and Matt didn't do one. Get on those guys, see if they, see if you can get them to to put one out. Um, I did. Uh, I do have a Thanksgiving playlist under my playlist with nice. um, a, a couple of videos. Um, there's a cheesecake video. There's a how I break down and brine my video? turkey. Oh, cheesecake. I'm sorry. Cheesecake. They're all cheesy. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, there's a couple of videos under there, some how to stuff. So check that out. Uh, maybe something will interest you, or maybe uh, you want to try something a little different this year, you know? Um, and um, I'm probably going to do like a just a really little, a really quick video um, and put it out here tonight. Like when you um, say little, is it gonna be like a 480p video, or are you talking about yeah, a short yeah. video? One, 128, 128. Oh, 128 p. <laughs> yeah, two really? pixels. It's gonna be two pixels. Nice. Um, just something real short um, to give somebody to give people something to uh, comment under uh, if they have any questions. You know, if you guys have any questions uh, about you know how to cook something, or if you have if you need some suggestions or, or a little bit of help, it'll give you somewhere to go. Uh, so I'll keep an eye on that the next couple of days and reply to anybody that might uh, might have some some food questions for me. So it'll be something a little yeah, different. Yeah, guys, there. if you if you guys, I mean, obviously he's our local <laughs> chef and the, and the crew, but uh, he's got some awesome awesome recipes and all that. But I, I like the idea of the Thanksgiving uh, playlist. That's kind of cool. So go check out his channel if you got some really interesting ideas for you're looking to do some stuff. Uh, go check out that playlist. That's a great idea, by the way. Thanks for that. Yep. Mm hmm uh mike what do you got to plug i'll give you i'll give you a full minute today how about that oh that's even better i appreciate it <laughs> i'm in a giving mood you know <laughs> hey that's good i do appreciate that well yeah. for starters um when i get off of here i'm gonna go do some dry firing um so i can yeah. prepare for this weekend but outside of that um we dropped a video today so if you will head on over to um youtube ooch tube gun streamer and gun tube and check out the video that we dropped today on those channels, um, getting back into competition shooting. So um, please go to the m-wtactical.com, the one-stop shop where you can check out everything I'm a part of from Facebook and Instagram, which you can find under m-wtactical. Even a link where you can catch up on me um, doing the Black Man with the Gun podcast with Ken Blanchard. 
the M-W Tactical Channel, where we do product reviews that we put out every Tuesday, what we, what we just discussed. And you can even click on the link and donate to the GoFundMe.com forward slash M-W Tactical campaign that's still going on. And also, there's a link to um, the Patreon page. So right now, my big push is to get my rating up. So I know I'll, eventually I'm going to need help with some ammo. So if you haven't donated, please donate so I can try to become an A-class shooter by next year. And um, my ultimate goal is to get on somebody's shooting team. There you go. Yeah, you're going to be fine. I know. I know you're going to be just fine. Uh, we have a quick announcement that Mike and I would like to announce. Uh, we've decided the drill of the month. We have, um, I, I've really enjoyed doing that and we're, we're going to continue to do that, but we're going to do it a little bit differently starting December one and the December drill of the month will be del- uh, out there December 1st around 12 on Saturday, 12, 12 central time. And you'll have the month of December to go through it. But what we're going to do is we're going to start collaborating on every drill a month. So basically what's going to happen starting in December is um, we're going to do the normal video where we introduce a drill a month, discuss why did we chose this drill, what it's used for and all that. And then Mike's going to do a minute or two minute uh, instructional period included in that video every month where he's going to take that drill either shoot it or at least show the drill and talk about the mechanical and fundamental practices that might help you get the drill done better and why it's going to make you more proficient. So we're going to add not only the drill, but we're going to add um, an educational and instructional side to the video as well, because what we're trying to do is really try to take the drill a month. And and we all know that people are out there and egos get in the way and all that, that people feel less of a person to ask for help. So there are people that might be looking for instruction and good drills to become more proficient, but they're afraid to go get lessons or ask for help. So we're going to start trying to do it to the the drill a month might be their monthly way of getting a drill and instruction at the same time. So I think it's really going to really going to be awesome. We've already filmed the December one and we kind of did it together today. And and, uh, so the video is ready to go. It will be released December 1st. But. Uh, from now on, we've got us and MW Tactical doing the drill of the month. And I've um, had some interesting conversations with a couple of companies that uh, are looking to get involved with drill of the month as well. Where we might be having, starting in January, we might be having some gifts sent uh, from some different companies, including maybe some steel to the winner each month. So we're going to be doing that as well. So drill of the month is starting to kind of take off. I, I'm glad that everyone's enjoying them. We're going to start doing some really, really cool stuff. But, um, yeah, we're going to start doing the uh, the drill of the deal, the drill of the month with Mike, and we're going to do some instruction and all that. So it's all going to be all-inclusive. So really looking forward to that. And thank you, Mike, for for helping on that. Hey, no problem, man. Like I said, anytime I can help, just let me know. I'm there you for you. It. I appreciate you. And, uh, G, what you got going on this week? Uh, anything to plug? Uh, Sandhills does a 2A Tuesday show. 2A Tuesday, yeah. yeah a couple of minutes here yeah it's, that's a great show right there i think it was it's, it's not in a couple i think it's at uh is it nine i think or is it nine or nine thirty top of the hour yeah 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 so that's gonna be coming up here in about 45 minutes that's a great win obviously hit or misses i think they just went live a couple minutes ago they're over there doing their thing with night strike and travis p and squib and all those guys uh great go check them out at night strike one over on youtube and hit or miss on gun channels and then falling right after that sand hill shooter will do his two a tuesday uh, that's a great one as well. Um, go check out Daily Gun Show. Go check out gearwebsites.com. Go check out Every Second Matters. G did a great video today. I'm sorry I missed it live, but it's a little two-way workshop. So go check out Gun Websites, uh, latest video. It's a, it's a great one talking about, uh, just talking about different two-way stuff. He, had, he and John Z were hanging out for a little while. But that yeah, was a really, really good one. Two-way workshop for anybody doing any kind of two-way projects so that we can, same kind of thing you guys are talking about with gun practice so we can get people fluent on the internet. I was checking out some of the recipes off of Midnight's Playlist, and I'm not so sure about this turkey with the cheesecake stuffing. That I'm not sure about putting a cheesecake inside a turkey. Hey, I'm have you tried it? That. <laughs> the worst part is it said it's a no-bake cheesecake, so I'm not sure how that even works. That means it's even better if you bake it. You should fry it. Well, he doesn't eat meat, so all he's going to do is eat the cheesecake. So, I eat cheesecake on Saturday. So now he's saying you fry it. I'm not even keeping up with this thing. 
Yeah. I, I know. It's probably over your head, G. It's okay. Wow. Wow. <laughs> We're gonna pack it with. We're gonna pack it and bread it and fry it and it'll be ugly. It'll be great. But it'll be ugly, ugly, but it'll be really good. I bet, huh? Yeah, yeah. Chase your family members away. You don't want to deal with them the rest of the day. That's right. That's right. Uh, Clover, I know that you um, are working on some exciting. Um, how do we put this? Diversification of the channel right now for obvious reasons, but. I know that you're you're taking it in full stride and, and really working on some different kind of projects. You want to talk about some of them coming up? Yeah, it's been it's been fun. It's been it's been difficult, you know, because I'm I'm bucking the stream here. I mean, everybody's used to YouTube and everybody's just it's just comfortable for them, and and so you know, breaking new ground and and utilizing other things. I get it. And, you know, I'm comfortable with a lot of things too. Uh, my wife repairs my my jeans when they rip. Why? Because they're comfortable, and I don't want to. Yeah. I don't want to change. So I, I get that. But um, you know, at some point, you know, technology changes, things change, and you know, um, being forced into the situation we are, it, it gives us the opportunity to kind of get ahead of the curve, so to speak. I think. Um, with that said, the um, we're putting out content. I mean, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, it's it's still dropping on YouTube, even though we can't do live. Uh, Gunstreamer, of course, uh, and we're varying the the ways that that content drops. So everything is not going to go out on one day. Uh, one thing may go on Gunstreamer today, and a totally different thing on on Facebook, and just kind of kind of mixing that up a little bit. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm sure people get tired of the same video across every single platform the same day. Uh, that's that can be a little weird, I suppose. Um, as far as live, I mean, that's primarily happening through Instagram, uh, GunTube, and then, of course, you know, the chat portion, the embedding and the chat over on gun channels. So, uh, and we're doing, still doing the Monday night, uh, which is uh, just me and, and everybody out there and whatever topics we need to, we need to talk about. The, um, the podcast, the, the Firearm Friday I'm hoping to have hit back. I've got uh, intros recorded, been working on all that stuff. I've been yeah. trying to get the actual guest scheduled to get that uh, stuff to start recording and, and get all that put together. Hopefully, Fire on Friday will release as a produced podcast. Uh, hopefully, Black Friday. Hopefully, this Friday. It may not happen this Friday, but I'm going to, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying really hard. So um, look for that, that coming down the, uh, down the pipe as well. Um, yeah, and then what else? Um, the newsletter. I mean, the newsletter is a is a big thing. Really been pushing that hard because that's a, just an added means of communication. Uh, hopefully, there's you know people find a lot of cool stuff in there uh, behind the scenes, things they didn't know. We link to old videos and and just neat stuff like that. Uh, and then, I guess happy needless turkey murder day to everybody out there and uh, <laughs> if you're if you're going out on um on black friday and 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 all that good stuff you know stay warm be safe yeah uh, we definitely want to want to see you next week don't go beat some tail just because tickle me elmo might be sold out right the uh yeah that that uh whatever tickle, 50, me, that, elmo, the that tickle me elmo the or the 55 inch tv is not worth spending black friday weekend in the clink so. You know, Tickle the Elmo was 1996. Was it that long ago? Holy wow. cow. It seems like it was, I, I would have guessed 10 years ago, but that's 22 years ago. Holy cow. That's that's how long people have been waiting in line. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, so Cyber Monday stuff, everybody's going to have Cyber Monday stuff going on in their stores, right? So. Yeah, Cyber Monday. And if you live in a small town and or wherever you live, I know that a lot of people, at least around here, are talking small business Saturday. And so they're trying to get people to shop local in their towns and all that. So if your town's doing that, I know my town is doing a big thing. Um, we have uh, a Thanksgiving parade, plus it's small business Saturday where all the stores will be having some stuff. So if you if you have small business Saturday or whatever, go support that. Obviously, Cyber Monday and all that stuff. Um, once make again, sure guys, you, oh, go ahead. I was just going to say, make sure you check out your, your local shops. You know, I mean, just That's, because yep. it's Black Friday. And you want to go to Walmart, whatever, but make sure you swing by your, your local shop, even if they're not doing anything. Buy some ammo. Yeah. Um, I'm going to, no offense, I'm just going to remove that remark. That's just 
not even worth mentioning. Um, yeah, go support your local gun shops. Uh, that this is a really a time of year that, especially now, I think a lot of gun shops. I know mine is. They make most of their uh, money at least here during hunting season. So that October till February is kind of like their bread and butter. And it's really, really slow in the summertime. I don't know about you guys, but um, you know, the Christmas time and all that uh, with hunting season and Christmas coming up, this is kind of the, the time of year where they really will do all of their. Well, and a, a lot of your, well, not even your local gun shops, but your local businesses in general, yeah. you know, a lot of those outside of maybe their Facebook or something, they don't advertise their Black Friday stuff, so they may have some smoking deals on on stuff as well. And uh, you will never know unless you check them out, see if they've got a Facebook, or actually go in the store. Yeah. Now Hans out there, he, he brings up a point, and this is one of those things that um, is so important, and I can't stress this enough. If you go shopping and you record a fight in the store. Please turn your phone sideways. No one wants to see a fight vertically. Turn the phone sideways when you post it so at least it's we can see the whole fight because you're going to miss a lot of it if you just go, you know, vertical phone. Record it sideways so we can get a good shot of the fight. And make sure you post those on Instagram, Facebook, and GunStreamer and all that. Speaking of GunStreamer, um, I know Ashley's been out there the whole time. Thank you. Uh, please, guys, if you haven't already, I think everyone knows, go check out GunStreamer. Um, I know that starting in January, I've, I've got a lot of stuff planned for 2019. And one of them is going to be a gun streamer only video, uh, at least once or twice a month that I put out there. It will not ever be on YouTube. It won't be, and I'll probably share it through Facebook, but it, I'm going to do a gun streamer only video that will only be on there. It will not be on YouTube. And then obviously once GunStreamer comes with the live, I will probably add a, um, a weekly live chat on GunStreamer. So I'm looking forward to that. But guys, go check out GunStreamer. Go check out GunTube.org. Go check out YouTube. Go check them all out. But uh, I think we all agree that GunStreamer is the one platform that's out there that is putting their money where their mouth is and they are 100% ready, willing and able to support and, and include the creators in the process. And um, you don't get that very often because uh, when it's your baby, you want to make sure it's done your way, but they're taking in suggestions and, and talking to a bunch of people and taking it all in and seeing what's best for the platform. And I think that gun streamers can be one of those that I think is going to change the game. So please go check out um, gunstreamer.com. I'm sure everybody on here is on Gunstreamer. So go check them out. They're always in the chats. Her, or Ashley, I mean, her, or Austin, or Paul are always in chats of everybody. It's not just here, but they're on Clovers. They, I think all three of them at one point were on your Instagram lawn chair Sunday night, I believe. I mean, you're talking about people that take the time out of their lives to support the creators directly. They've been on the show several times. So, guys, if um, if, you, if you're looking for a place out there, GunStreamer, in my opinion, is the place to be. So, um, you know, I hope one day maybe we can all get away from YouTube. And if we do, I think we should all end over at, at GunStreamer because I think that that's exactly where it would be. And if they start doing the, I shouldn't say if, when they start doing the lives, that's exactly what it's going to be. Um, cause that's the only thing that's kind of missing right now. Everything else is awesome. The new look of the website has changed in the last couple of weeks. It's beautiful. I love the way you guys did it. It's more user friendly. They've, they had a couple of glitches and I think that Clover, you called them out on a couple not call them out in a minute. Dude, they, they, brought, they fixed, they had they, that like, fix. right then, like within five yeah. minutes it was fixed. Yeah. I was, I was complaining. I had a problem earlier that day <laughs> and I emailed them and then I went on Instagram and I was complaining about it and I'm, I, you know, not to. I can complain about much on gun streamer, right? Most of it is worked flawlessly. Yeah. Uh, but I'm like, Hey, I've got an opportunity to complain. I'm going to do it. And then they come on. And go, nah, that's been, that's been fixed for it's already quite been a while. Fixed. Done. <laughs> okay. Uh, so yeah. Um, go check out all these guys. They're all putting out awesome content. Um, you know, like I said, the, the cool thing about midnight range TM is he's got a playlist out there for Thanksgiving food. So, uh, he is a chef. He's not a cook. He's an actual chef. We make fun of him all the time, but the dude's the real deal. Um, he can flat out cook. He can flat out make some recipes. So if you're looking for some interesting uh, Thanksgiving recipes, go check out his Thanksgiving playlist. Go check out Patriot in the Dark. If you haven't yet, I'm calling everybody out to please go do a blind challenge. 
this weekend. You have time. You've got a four-day weekend. Take 10 minutes out of your life to turn a camera on and do a blind challenge and I wanna, video for him. And I want to specifically with that blind challenge, I want to I want to call yeah. out some like William Trader that was out there yes. uh, the other right. night. The, the guys night, that yeah. are thinking about turning on the cameras. The blind challenge is an excellent opportunity to do that, and you're going to get traction. That thing is going to go in a playlist that people are already watching. So that's something that you can do, and it will instantly get at least some type of traction. So that's right. good because you're going to get feedback off of that. That's right. Um, okay, so Adifo wants to know what the blind challenge. So Patriot in the Dark, if you're not familiar with Patriot, he's here on the, ch in the, in the channel. And you know what, Patriot, I'm going to let you describe it because you do a much better way. But basically, he's going to, uh, he's got a, a promotion going for blind challenge, hashtag blind challenge, and he's going to explain it to you real quick if you don't mind. He might be gone. Patriot, you there? Okay, I guess I'll be explaining it. Yeah, I'm, okay, I'm here. There you are. I'm here. Right. I, I you want to explain it because Adolfo's out there. He wanted to know what the blind challenge is. So my, this might my be a voice. Unmuted. I had that Charlton Heston going. I, I was great and it was muted. So I'll, I'll just <laughs> start all over. It's probably going to Joel Pesci now. But um, <laughs> just calling out to make a video of you blindfolded. All right. Use the hashtag blind challenge, hashtag Patriot in the Dark. Uh, basically what I want you to do is something with a firearm as far as field strip or assembly or describe an action like cycle camp. He's got a lot of stuff that nobody else has. And if you, I want you to describe it as though you're doing it over the phone to somebody that can't see what you, what you're doing or what you have. So describe where the locations are. Try to use the correct terms, you know, uh, the right nomenclature and make the video blindfolded explain it as best you can take it apart put it back together um, once you post the video if you take the link of that video and put it in my original uh, blind challenge um, comment section you'll be entered in you know once i get 50 50 entries i guess uh, i got a, a giveaway in that if you don't make videos if you search out the people that are making videos and you make a public playlist and just label it as the hashtag blind challenge and hashtag Patriot in the dark, and then take the link to that uh, playlist and put it in the comments, then, then you'll also be entered for a kind of a secondary thank you gift. So that was my, my shaky explanation, but I, ha I have a couple of videos out there that explain it, but Basically, if you do it as though you're you're explaining it over the phone, so that you know if you're over a phone, you know they don't know what you're pointing at. So you actually have to say it's on the left side, it's on the right side. So, you know, that's it. Easy. Awesome. And I think William said he's going to do. William Trader said he's going to do his first video ever uh, Friday. So he's up here in the chat. Go go find his name, William Trader and um go to his channel i'm asking everybody right now to go subscribe to his channel we're trying to get him to to start doing videos and if we start showing him some love and getting some subscribers that's going to kind of push him and all that we're always here to help now ashley out there is throwing the gauntlet down she said here's the catch if you're gonna do a blind challenge video it needs to be uploaded on gun streamer i think that's a given isn't it this is not yeah. youtube centric yeah, you got to put it, it on gun streamer also it's on, it's on any platform, but especially, you know, guntube.org and GunStreamer. It, it's, uh, uh, yeah, it, it's easier for me to find if you put the link once you do it on any of the, the platforms in the comments of my, my one video, just because I, you know, I'm a blind guy. I got to find all that stuff. Now, so. <laughs> Patriot Ashley did say, she just said in the chat to you, when you do the giveaway, please do a video and she'll post it all over the GunStreamer social. So that'll, that'll get some really cool exposure for you. That sounds the great. Gunstreamer now has the auto upload feature too. Yes, they do. They do. They do. Make and sure I you do. sign up for that. Yes. <laughs> like I said, guys, they're going to do everything they can to uh, make your life a lot easier. So uh, they're wonderful over there. <laughs> guys, it has uh, been an hour and a half, which is kind of what we kind of run through these days. So we're going to get out of here. I want to say happy, happy Thanksgiving to everyone out there. Uh, if you're listening in replay, please be safe on your travels enjoy your family give them a hug 
tell them you love them, eat a lot of food, gain 20 pounds, go shoot, and then take a video. So that, that's, a, that's a full week. Traveling, family, eating, shooting, and video. That's just about as good as it gets. Oh, yeah. And by the way, go spend money in the, in the gun stores. Support the Second Amendment community. Even if it's uh, a snake bore, a uh, boar snake, snake bore, a boar snake. Even if it's something that's just cleaning stuff, gun cleaning. Even if it's 5 or $10, every 5 or $10 that you spend in the community helps the community be that much stronger. So, um Get out there, do your shopping. If you feel the need to shop online, please check out all of our websites. And we have affiliate links that uh, they've got links to some really good deals. Plus, they'll send us a little bit of money for your purchase as well. So that helps support the channels. Go check us all out on Patreon if you want to do that. We appreciate all of our patrons. Love you guys. Thank you so much for all the support. Thank you for everyone just watching and listening. Um, if you're, if you, and we don't expect everyone to come to Patreon. That's not what we're saying. Um, the support we get by you guys showing up every single time to our live stuff and every single one of our videos and you thumbing it up and you're sharing it and you're liking it, you know, a share, it's really kind of interesting when it's on Facebook or Instagram or YouTube or wherever, a share is one of the most important things that you can do to help your creators out. If you like something, share it because if you start getting shares, that's how the message gets through. Um, we know that YouTube and a lot of these social platforms are going to, uh, not censor us, but they're definitely going to, uh, slow down the visibility of our, uh, videos out there. They don't necessarily want gun videos becoming popular. So the only way you're going to be able to be seen is if you share them. So we ask you to please share our videos on whatever platform you are on. Um, if you don't like the video, then don't share it. That's fine. But if you think that it's going to be worthwhile for somebody else, just share it and that and ask them to share it too. So that's how uh, the message gets sent. So thank you guys for everything. We love you guys. Happy, happy goggled, gobble, gobble day. Uh, be safe. Eat a lot of good food. Go shoot, shoot a video. And we'll see you next Tuesday for Tactical Tuesday. As always, simplify.